Hi, my name is Dr. Karen Lee. I'm a public health physician. I work for New York City's Health Department as their director of the Built Environment Program and Active Design. Hello, I'm Joyce Lee. I am a registered architect, elite accredited professional, and I'm the director of Active Design Program at the City of New York Department of Design and Construction. We're here today to tell you a little bit about the Active Design Guidelines. Um, and you, you'll see the active design guidelines on camera. Um, this is a document that was jointly created in, in New York City by uh, multiple city agencies working together. And it gives basically a, a list of evidence-based and best practice strategies for increasing the healthiness of our buildings, streets, and neighborhoods. Gives, the strategies that it gives are about increasing physical activity supports in the everyday places where we live, where we work, where we go to school, and where we play. By these guidelines, we will go out and create neighborhoods, buildings, and public places that encourage walking, biking, active transportation, and recreations. We'll also design buildings that promote active living, for example, through the placement and design of stairs and elevators, and also by providing indoor and outdoor spaces for uh, physical activity and exercise. So why are the guidelines so important today? Well, the time to act is now because in New York City, as in the rest of the United States, obesity and with it type 2 diabetes are, are the fastest growing epidemics of our time. The epidemic of childhood obesity is particularly dire and we must address these issues. At the same time, we have had accumulating evidence uh, in the scientific literature about the roles that the built environment or the environment that we are able to design and build, such as our buildings, streets, and neighborhoods, about the important roles that these play in helping to support physical activity and healthy eating in daily life. Ultimately, we will look to see that there are heightened activity levels and better health and fitness for everyone through the positive, positive changes we make in more attractive buildings and more engaging places in our communities. Armed with this evidence, the New York City partners set out to create the guidelines through the New York City Departments of Design and Construction, Health and Mental Hygiene, City Planning and Transportation. It also receives extensive input from the mayor's offices of long-term planning and sustainability, people with disability, and management and budget. We were fortunate to have academics from three institutions to review the scientific evidence. From the Georgia Institute of Technology, University of Texas at San Antonio, and University of Utah. We also had a strong partnership with the American Institute of Architect New York and various uh, help uh, from design professionals and planning professionals. And we've uh, actually learned a lot of lessons um, through the process of working together. Um, so we had you know, great support from our uh, commissioners uh, across city agencies that were involved in this document, particularly commissioners Bernie, of Design and Construction, Commissioner Farley of Health and Mental Hygiene, uh, Commissioner Sadiq Khan of Transportation, and Commissioner Burden of um, uh, City Planning. And um, Mayor Michael Bloomberg of New York City has uh, essentially created very uh, good conditions in New York City for city agencies to work closely together. And through working with the various uh, individuals with ex expertise in their offices, we were able to integrate the varied active design elements into the core mission and enrich the discussion as well as broaden the reach to our audience. And what are the lessons learned? Yeah, we, well we've learned many lessons. I think when the city agencies came to work together uh, in the development of the guidelines and as we continue to work together in the dissemination and implementation of these guidelines, uh, we've learned, I think, of opportunities that each individual agency working on its own would never have identified. Uh, so for example, in health, we were primarily interested, of course, in advancing the health issues. 
but there were many um, others working in transportation and city planning and in building design and construction that had priorities of environmental sustainability and universal accessibility. By coming together, we were actually able to identify the synergies that might be found and that could be had when we worked together on these issues. And for us, on the design side, we learned to work side by side with public health professional, hand in glove in joint program development. And as a result, we are able to strengthen the work that we do and put health front and center in every design decisions that we make because we learn the immense impact that we make. We do also understand this synergy with sustainability and lead for leadership in energy and environmental design as well as ADA and universal design that they are uh, key in integrating the work with active design. We also invite you in your community to form partnerships such as ours in health, design, planning, and transportation to increase the impact of what you can do in your own communities. And I think if you're able to do this in your own communities, you can have the ability to make a tremendous difference in what are the most uh, critical issues that we must address in our time. Um, health issues, certainly the epidemics of obesity, childhood obesity, and type 2 diabetes. Um, and also environmental sustainability issues and universal accessibility issues. In terms of the health issues, I would also like to add that uh, physical inactivity and unhealthy diets are currently second only to tobacco use as the leading causes of premature death in the United States. And so uh, by addressing physical activity and healthy eating through the way we design our building streets and neighborhoods, um, we can make a tremendous difference uh, in the health priorities of our day. Please visit us at www.nyc.gov/adg. Thank you. Thank you.